Hey, what is good? Welcome to today's video. We're going to be checking out the Winlater C mod version 13.1 and we're going to be testing GTA 4. I'll just show you here 13.1 and yeah, let's check out GTA 4. I'll show you the settings quickly. So we got it on 960 by 544, 16 by 9. Uh, the wrapper we got turn up 25.3.0 r3g mem uh, we've got the max device memory is 4096 and the dxvk is 2.4.1 again we've got this on max uh, let's go down here all these should be standard apart from the video memory size and I think now oh, there we go box 64 version 036 performance and that is going to be it so let's go ahead here for the shortcuts and fire this thing up so I previously got this running on WinLeader Hotfix 10.1 but for some reason the container completely crashed on me and it wouldn't load the game anymore so I decided to test out CMOD and even though this is a major improvement to the previous version uh, it's not as uh, good as Hotfix but it seems to be a lot more stable so I'll definitely be using this from now on but let's just uh, load into the game here and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, it's really interesting testing these things out. I feel like GTA 4 has definitely improved over the past few months. Where before it was reaching anywhere from like 15 to 25, 30 frames. And now we are seeing top end 80 in certain cases. I'll show you all what I mean. Let's just let this load in here. So as we are kind of standing here right now, as you can see, the frames are up to like 90, which is absolutely crazy. Um, that will change as we are walking, though. It will start to drop. But as you can see, 66 frames. As we walk out here, it's going to drop quite a bit there. But there we go. So we're in the 30s there, high 30s. Let's go ahead here and drive around and show you what the performance is like. So it really is up and down. Um, turn the radio off there. So yeah, some places are going to get up to like 40, 50, even in the 60s. It really does depend what area of the map you're on though, but with this 16 by 9 it's fully stretched out on the display here. We're still getting very good frames. Again, 50 frames there. It is actually running incredibly smooth. And yeah, if you're looking to play GTA 4, this is probably the best way to go about it. Now when it comes to the camera glitch, it is still present. I think it it is just kind of hit or miss. Uh, sometimes I've played this for like an hour long and I've had no issues. Sometimes I've played it for 30 minutes and then it starts to uh, starts to become present in the game. The way to fix that is just to exit out and restart Willinator and it'll kind of fix itself. Let's go to this area here. As you can see, as we're driving down towards you, we're getting 50 frames. 65, 75. It's pretty crazy. It's jumping all over the place. It's not very stable. But it is incredible to see uh, what Winlater is able to achieve. So yeah, definitely going to be continuing on here until the kind of container doesn't open anymore. I do know the latest version of Gamehub 
Uh, I've had somebody in a previous video mention that it has kind of fixed the camera glitch now. I'm not too sure what the frame rate is like. I really haven't messed with GameHub for GTA 4. I find it's very hit or miss in the earlier versions, so maybe they fixed it. That's something I'll be uh, checking out there. But yes, it's running incredibly smooth. Absolutely beautiful. I've played a good couple of missions in here now and everything's been working fine. There was two, maybe one or two instances where when you are watching some of the cutscenes, sometimes the textures are kind of overlaying each other and but again, just restarting the Winlader app and everything should be fine. So as you can see in this area here, we're going up to 90 frames, 100 frames. I really don't know if this is uh, legit or not, but... Yeah, pretty crazy, certain areas are doing very well. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. As always, like and subscribe, it really does help out the channel. If you've got any other information you want to know, please drop it in the comments below. If you want to share any settings or uh, got any fixes for any of these games, please share. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'll just continue to uh, drive around you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed these videos as always. And I'll catch you all on the next one.